What's going on guys, Joe Munoz here, OneStepPrep.com, the high energy JJ team guiding you through initial recurrent upgrade training wherever you're at. Hope we get to work with you online or in person. Hey, A320 Descent Planning, let's talk about it. How come sometimes you're coming down the arrival and one minute, man, you're on the path perfectly and then you're high and then you're low and then you're slow and then you're all over the place and you're like, well, I thought I was on it. And then all of a sudden you find yourself showing plus four, 5,000 feet and you're frantically speed brakes out, flaps, gear, open the windows, do whatever you can to try to get back down on the actual path, descent path. Why does this happen, right? And it kind of goes in depth a little bit more, maybe beyond the scope of this video, but you need to understand two things. The aircraft plans a single descent path, top of descent, right? All the way down to essentially the circle D or the deceleration point where we begin to slow down to green dot, configure accordingly to be stable by 1,000 feet and ultimately make that approach to the runway. This one path, it only constructs a single path, okay? That one path, once you enter the descent phase, it's set. You cannot alter the path once you're in the descent phase. Now, there are several different ways to recalculate the descent path, and the way that this can quickly get away from you, let me just give you a real world example, right? Because while well, ATC can change things on you, right? They never do that, but maybe they can, right? Okay, so you're coming down the path, and maybe they tell you maintain 300 knots or reduce speed to 280 knots. And you already have a descent path calculated based on a predetermined speed, let's say of 290 knots, right? Maybe they tell, tell you 0.78, no more than 290 in the transition. Sound familiar? So you're coming down this path and all of a sudden your one descent path is based off of this speed with no lateral deviations due to weather or anything like that. All it takes now is for you to be turned off due to traffic, due to weather, for you to be accelerated forward, right? Speed up, slow down because of anything, any type of parameter in this dynamic environment that we operate in. And now that single path that was calculated is now no longer going to be accurate for the simple reason that, well, it didn't account for all these other variables that are actually ongoing now. Various ways for you to, to recalculate the path, and I'm going to share that with you in a minute. But before I do, I just want you to know, you may actually not be so high or so low. You may be perfectly comfortable and capable of getting down appropriately using the resources and tools we have. Speed brake, right? Remember those of you in the 320, you only get half boards with the autopilot on. Keep that in mind. And so one of the things that now I want to share with you is how do I recalculate this path? Well, there's various different ways, one of which is to do a direct to function. The other way you could is actually go to the perf approach page and do a changing of your flaps. So maybe you're set up to do config full, go to config three and then go back to config full. This will recalculate your descent path. And then various other things. Maybe you add an altitude constraint, delete an altitude constraint from within the flight plan page. There's other ways to do it. I cover it all fully in the energy management course, part of our online ground school A320 course specifically. The cheapest price you're gonna get for this A320 course that includes the energy management, 99 bucks, folks. 99 bucks, by the way, did I say it's a guaranteed oral pass? And then if you wanna go year round with us so that you get the monthly updates to the videos that we do, $497, we work with you year round. If you wanna get the energy management course alone, you can also grab it there, onestepprep.com. We wanna work with you, okay? Whether it's in online, maybe it's in person, maybe it's virtually, maybe you find yourself here in Miami, but somehow, some way, we wanna play a role in your training program success, and I hope you found value in this video tip. And if you have any questions, if you have any comments, concerns, complaints, critiques, added value, feedback, whatever, please leave it in comments, send us an email, call us, visit us, and we cannot wait to work with you and be a part of your training program success. Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com.